as Lagos State inaugurates electric buses for public transport, what does it mean for commuters and the state? These are some of the questions we shall be looking at on the breakfast this morning. And on Technofile, being a Technofile Tuesday on The Breakfast, we shall be taking a look at the economic promises of a vibrant software industry in Nigeria, especially as we seek to diversify from oil. We'll also be taking a look at Off the Press as we take a look at the headlines on the national dailies, some of the national dailies in the country. Good morning and welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Maureen Menongwe Zigwe. My co-host is not yet here, so that should be one of the traffic reports I'll be giving you. He's caught up in traffic somewhere on his way from home to the office. He shall be joining us any moment from now. Uh, welcome to the program. It is Technophile Tuesday of the program, The Breakfast. Uh, well, we've told you the headlines and... Um, some of the things we shall be taking a look at today. And we'll be taking a look at Nigeria's place in the future of renewable energy technology. What is Nigeria's place in that? Uh, these electric buses being introduced by the Lagos State Government is one way to go because climate change has become a thing and we are worried about Mother Earth. So anything that would promote green energy is welcome. So we'll be taking a look at this thoroughly as we consider the import of these uh, electric buses that the Lagos State government has introduced to public transportation. Well, moving on, let's take a look at top trending issues. NDLEA busts a Damawa factory supplying illicit drug to Cameroon and Niger. Well, the operatives of the NDLEA um, busted a factory in Adamawa, and uh, the operatives had raided a factory producing Akusura, a psychoactive substance. The operation took place in Mubi area of Adamawa state, and the drug is made from herbs and laced with tobacco and cannabis. NDLE operatives also seized 126 parcels of the loud strain of cannabis at the Tinkan port in Lagos. So drug abuse is a big issue in the country. We must all join hands to rid the nation of these illicit drugs which are not doing anybody any good. Well, the consignment there when 66 kg was concealed in a used Toyota Corolla car imported from Toronto, Canada. There you have officials of the NDLEA uh, inspecting the consignment. They seized illegal drugs. There was a time when tramadol was a thing and uh, have we won the battle over tramadol? I don't know. The NDLEA are in the better position to, take, to give us the answers to that. I learned that recently someone was caught uh, with drugs that were concealed inside the head of fishes. So uh, if you're traveling and someone gives you some parcel to deliver to someone, just say no, no matter what it looks like, whether it looks like a fish or, 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 or bread or whatever it does look like, just say no. Because Times are strange these days. Times are difficult. Uh, strange things are happening. Crazy things are happening. No one is innocent and nothing is innocent until you have thoroughly scrutinized it to be sure that this parcel, matter of fact, don't even bother. Just say no. If you're traveling from one part of the world to another and someone says, take this parcel for me and give to a relative in another part of the world, just say, I'm sorry. My hands are full. My, I have no space to carry anything. I wish I could help you. Because you never can tell who will be, in, who will be putting you in trouble. That harmless look, uh, piece of fish or, or, or parcel of gari or parcel of uh, uh, aqua, because some of our people take aqua from here to the U.S. or to London, which is not bad on its own. But how innocent are these parcels? How clean are these parcels? Are questions you should be asking yourself as you are contacted to help someone carry any of them 
from Nigeria to any part of the world. You need to save yourself. All right, moving on to another top trending issue, TCN to reconnect three electricity distribution companies to the national grid. That's the transmission company of Nigeria, which uh, well, they were disconnected for non-compliance with market rules earlier, but the companies are now going to uh, distribute uh, to the national grid. The companies are Kano Disco, Kaduna Electric, and Apple Electric. Customers in their franchise areas were left in total darkness for days. Uh, companies were reconnected by midnight, and, and that's on May 1st, midnight of May 1st, following the intervention of the Minister of Power, Abubakar Aliu. So TCN has agreed to restore power supply to the discos because of the collateral damage to customers. The 14 companies have 60 days to honor their obligations. So there you have it, TCN to reconnect three electricity distribution companies to the national grid. We all need power problems solved, don't we? Without that, there's just no way we can move forward as a nation. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And it's time for us to take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.